In this video, I will teach you how to determine the solution set of a rational inequality. Let us determine the range of values of x that satisfies this inequality. 1 all over x minus 3 less than 1. Okay? The first thing I will do here is to make one of the sides 0. So I'm going to take this 1 to the other side so that here becomes 0. And doing that, we have 1 all over x minus 3 minus 1 is less than what? 0. Let's simplify this left-hand side. The LCM is x minus 3. x minus 3. x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1 x minus 3 divided by 1 is x minus 3 times minus 1 we have minus x minus 3 which is less than 0 okay so let's simplify that expanding the brackets we have minus x plus 3 minus minus is a plus so we have minus x plus 3 all over x minus 3 which is less than 0 1 plus 3 is 4. So we have 4 minus x all over x minus 3 is less than 0. So from here, let us set the numerator to 0 and also the denominator to 0. I want to set 4 minus x to 0. Making x the subject of the formula, we have 4 is equal to Minus s we cross and turn to plus x. x is equal to 4. Now, let's set x minus 3 to 0. x minus 3 equal to 0. So making x the subject of the formula, x will be equal to minus 3 we cross and turn to plus. 0 plus 3 is 3. Good. So we have x equal to 4, x equal to 3. So this two points will be the points on our number line. We have this. We are now working with this inequality, okay? The inequality says less than zero. You know that only negative numbers are less than zero. For this left-hand side to be less than zero, it must be negative. So I want to share this number line into three regions. This is region 1, this is region 2, this is region 3. So let's assume values for each of these regions, okay? Between negative infinity and 3, we have numbers less than 3. So we can choose a number, let's say 0. Between 3 and 4, we can choose a number, let's say 3.5. Between 4 and positive infinity, we have numbers greater than 4. So we can choose a number, let's say 5. So we are going to use these numbers that we've chosen in this region to determine which of this region will satisfy this inequality. All right? Let's test for region 1 using x equal to 0. We're placing 0 for x here. So we have 4 minus 0. 4 minus 0 all over 0 minus 3. 0 minus 3. 4 minus 0 is 4. 0 minus 3 is minus 3. And this, of course, is a negative number that is less than 0. Region 1 satisfies this inequality. Now, let's test for region 2 using 3.5. We have 4 minus 3.5 all over 3.5 minus 3. 3.5 minus 3. Let's see if the number will be negative, okay? 4 minus 3.5 is 0 0.5. 3.5 minus 3 is 0 0.5. This, of course, is a positive number that is greater than 0. 
So region two does not satisfy the inequality. Let's check for region three using x equal to five. So we we'll have four minus five all over five minus three. Four minus five all over five minus three. Four minus five is minus one. Five minus three is two. Of course, minus one over two is less than zero because it is negative. That is to say, region three satisfies the inequality. What are the range of values of x now that satisfy this inequality? We have x less than 3, x greater than 4. x is less than 3, x is greater than 4. Good. We can write this in this way. We have from 3 to negative infinity. We have from 4 to positive infinity. 3 and 4, they are not included in the set. Okay? So we'll write this like this. Negative infinity, comma, three. Union, four, comma, positive infinity. Question two. Let us determine the range of values of x that satisfies this inequality. Two x minus one all over x plus three, less than or equal to two all over three. So I want to set one of the sides to zero. Let's move this two over three to the other side. All right, so we're having this 2x minus 1 all over x plus 3 minus 2 all over 3. This one is crossing now, less than or equal to 0. So let's simplify this left hand side. The LCM is the product of these two numbers 3 times x plus 3. Good. So this divided by x plus 3 is 3. 3 times 2x minus 1. 3 times 2x minus 1. The LCM again divided by 3. We have x plus 3 times minus 2. That will be minus 2 bracket s plus 3. Less than or equal to 0. Okay, so let's go ahead. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. Minus 2 times x is minus 2x. Minus 2 times 3 is minus 6. All over 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 3 is 9. And this is less than or equal to what? 0. 6x minus 2x is 4x. Minus 3 minus 6 is minus 9. Then 3x plus 9 less than or equal to 0. So this is the inequality that we are going to work with now. What we'll do here now is to set both numerator and denominator to 0. 4x minus 9 equal to 0. From here, we'll be having x equal to 9 all over 4. Okay, if you make x the subject of the formula, and from here, 3x plus 9 equal to 0, we'll be having x equal to minus 3. Take note, 9 over 4 is equivalent to 2.25. All right, this is our number line. Good. So, into three regions, we have region 1, region 2 and region 3. So let's determine which of these regions will satisfy this inequality. Between negative infinity and minus 3, we have numbers less than minus 3. So we can choose minus 4. Minus 4 is less than minus 3. Between minus 3 and 2.25, we can choose a number, let's say 0. 0 is in between these two numbers. And between 2.25 and positive infinity, we have numbers greater than 2.25. Take note, 2.25 is 9 over 4, okay? 
So I can choose a number, let's say three. Three is greater than 2.25. So let's use each of these numbers to test which of these regions will satisfy this inequality. The inequality says less than or equal to zero. By that, this left-hand side can either be a negative number or zero. Let's start with region one. So let's place minus four here. So have four times minus four, then minus nine. All over three times minus four plus nine. Okay, four times minus four is minus 16. Minus 16 minus nine all over three times minus four is minus 12. Minus 12 plus 9. Minus 16 minus 9 is minus 25. Minus 12 plus 9 is minus 3. Minus minus we cancel. So we have a positive number. 25 over 3 is positive. It is greater than 0. Region 1 does not satisfy this inequality. All right. Let's test for region 3 first before region two, using x equal to three. So in place of x, I will write three. So we have four times three minus nine, all over three times three plus nine, okay? Four times three is 12, three times three is nine. Of course, this number will give me a positive number that is greater than zero. 12 minus nine is three. 9 plus 9 is 18. This number is greater than 0 because it is positive. So region 3 does not also satisfy this inequality. So I think it's obvious that region 2 will satisfy it. Let's check. Let's use x equal to 0 now. In place of x now, let's write 0. 4 times 0 minus 9 all over 3 times 0 plus 9. This is 0. 4 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 9 is minus 9. 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 9 is 9. This is minus 1. And minus 1 is less than 0. So we can see that region 2 satisfies this inequality. Now, look at this inequality very well. It says less than or equal to. What we got is just less than, okay? So, let us check for that equality. It's easy to do, actually. To determine that, we we'll use this, our point, minus 3 and 9 over 4, which is 2.25. Let's plug in minus 3 here first and see what happens. If I plug in minus 3 here, we'll be having minus... 12 minus 9, because 4 times minus 3 is what? Minus 12. So minus 12 minus 9, minus 12 minus 9, all over. If I plug in minus 3 here, we'll have minus 9 plus 9. Minus 12 minus 9 is minus 21. Minus 9 plus 9 is 0. Oh, this is actually indeterminate. Minus 21 over 0 is actually indeterminate. So, minus 3 will not make this equal to 0. That's the point. Let's check for 9 over 4, which is 2.25. So, I want to plug in 9 over 4 or x and see whether it will give me 0. So, we have 4 times 9 over 4. 4 times 9 all over 4 minus 9, all over 3 times 9 over 4 plus 9. 3 times 9 over 4 plus 9. 4 cancel 4. We now have 9 minus 9, all over 3 times 9 is 27. 27, all over 4 plus 9. See this. 9 minus 9 is 0. Zero divided by everything here will still give me zero. So it is only 2.25 
that we make this left hand side equal to what? Zero. That means I will shade this circle. That's what it means. The range of values of x that satisfies this inequality is this. Minus three, this is minus three, is less than x. And x is less than or equal to nine over four. I want to use nine over four. This is it. I am using equal to here because nine over four, which is 2.25, made this zero. I hope you get it. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and share the video to your friends and to your classmates. I'll see you in the next video.